thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to, uh, Nancy doesn't, see, Nancy hasn't done too many shows with Billy and I, so when we said, you know, a two-hour show, she, she didn't realize that was just 40 minutes of singing and an hour and 20 minutes of us talking. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I, I am, uh, I, I'm thrilled to sing uh, uh, I Got Plenty of Nothing because uh, if you read in my program, I wrote a book uh, called Black Eve of the 30s, which was the life of an OSU graduate who was one of the pioneer black opera singers of her time by the name of Ruby Elsie. And I understand my good friend Madge Guthrie is here tonight. Madge, there you are. Madge Guthrie is the woman who started me on the project. Madge was a classmate of Ruby Elsie's in 1930. Madge just celebrated her 97th birthday. Madge, Every performer has their dream role. For me, it's Porgy. And for obvious reasons, I'll never play Porgy. <laughs> you see, Porgy's a Baptist, not Catholic. <laughs> so anyway, but, but it's a wonderful show, and, uh, and it's uh, one of the great, uh, great American masterpieces. And we're going to close the first half of our program with Becky joining me for the beautiful duet, which was introduced by Ann Brown and Todd Duncan, and, and Madge actually got to see Todd Duncan in Act 1 <laughs> of a Scene 1 of Porgy and Bess when it played at the Hartman Theater for the first time in 1943. Todd Duncan took ill, and so he was replaced after the first scene by Eddie Matthews, who was originally the Jake in that, and was about half the size of Todd Duncan, so he really wasn't very short Porgy. So, so from Porgy and Bess closing the first act with the beautiful uh, Bess, you miss my woman now. 